1958, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration was founded. 60 years later, Vance has teamed up with NASA to celebrate the agency by releasing a collection that includes these two skate-high colorways. Let's take a look. Hey all, what is up? Reese here, and I've got a brand new double sneaker pickup to show you. What we're looking at today is the Vans and NASA Space Voyager collaboration on the Skate High MTE DX. Both this white and black pair released separately on Friday, November 2nd, 2018, each retailing for $110. Now, as you're watching this review, I'd love for you to leave a comment down below and just let me know what you think about these sneakers, both how they kind of rank against each other and then also your thoughts on the collaboration as a whole. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And finally, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Before we dive into the NASA specifics, I want to do a quick breakdown of this model. So obviously it's based on the Skate High, which is one of Van's classic silhouettes. It was first introduced in 1978 and was their first high top skate shoe. The MTE then stands for Mountain Edition. It's basically their winterized or sneaker boot version of the shoe, and it features a bit more of a reinforced upper. You've got waterproofing and heat retention by some slightly different materials and also by kind of sealing up the seams a little bit better. And then they also feature a rugged outsole. Finally, the DX stands for Deluxe, which basically for this model just means you get an ultra cush insole to add a little more comfort underfoot and then some reinforced stitching around the toe. Now normally the regular skate high retails for $65 with that going up a little bit for some more premium materials. The MTE normally retails for 90 and then the MTE DX retails for 95. So you are paying a premium of $15 to get this special NASA version. Focusing in on this collaboration, these were released as part of a wider collection to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, AKA NASA and we saw a handful of different sneaker models released as well as some clothing and apparel. The main inspiration on the sneaker designs came from the suits that astronauts wear. And so you see a lot of interesting detail in here. It's not just like they slap NASA branding onto a normal version of the shoe, which is nice to see. The inspiration um, can be seen in a couple different ways. You've got kind of some ribbing around the midsole, which is meant to look like a space boot. You've got some exposed foam around the collar and on the sides of the shoe. And then you've got both sewn on and removable patches that feature both Vans and NASA branding. And then you've also got some text that's kind of associated specifically with NASA. Basically the way this shoe is designed is on the left shoe, you have two sewn on patches. So you can see you've got that NASA logo patch on the lateral side. On the medial side, then you've got the EVA or extravehicular activity patch. This is what an astronaut would get when they do a mission outside of a spacecraft. And that's also sewn on. On the right shoe then, you've got nothing on the medial side. And on the lateral side, there's actually a Velcro patch that features a different mission insignia for NASA. So the way the spacesuits work is you have some patches that are sewn on. Those are the things kind of like what you see over here that are a little more permanent versus the mission where you might use a spacesuit you know, for multiple missions and so you need to be able to change that out. And then each one has kind of its own unique design. Now when I first bought these, I actually only bought the white pair. This was my favorite out of all of the Vans and NASA shoes that release. And I assumed that they would come with a handful of mission patches that you could kind of swap out and customize to your liking. After I started looking at Instagram though, just to see other people's pictures, I noticed that for every colorway, there was always a single mission associated with each colorway of the Skate High. Now there are these two colorways that kind of saw a wider release and then there was also a gray pair that released exclusively a complex con the weekend these came out, but each one had just a different mission patch. And so I realized that you only got one with each colorway. And if you wanted different mission patches, you're actually gonna have to find different um, pairs. The patches that you get with each colorway are for the white one, you get the Voyager one and two mission. For the gray one, it's a uh, Gemini two. And then for the black pair, it is Apollo 11. Now, even if you're not really that into NASA, you don't know what the different missions or numbers mean or signify, you are almost guaranteed familiar with Apollo 11 because that's the original moon landing. And so it was after I noticed that that I really wanted to pick up this pair as well. And now having them in hand, I'm actually really glad that I did. Obviously, everything about these shoes is the same except for the base color and that patch, but it just looks really, really sharp and black, especially when you have a little bit of contrast 
with the midsole and then that exposed foam. So I really don't think you could have gone wrong with either of these. But with all that said, we'll dive now into a close-up view and take a look, closer look at the colors, materials, and everything that's going on with this sneaker. We don't need to spend too much time on the box because there's nothing special about the packaging. There's no kind of unique ties to the collaboration. It's just the classic cardboard brown and red Vans off the wall box. Getting into the shoe now, we'll kind of focus on the white pair just because I think the camera is going to pick up some of the detail a little bit better, but everything other than the color is pretty much the same. And then at the end, we'll take a quick look at the black pair just to see some of the unique touches. But so for these, you've got a white synthetic leather upper. It's pretty soft as you can see, so it's going to crease a little bit, but it uh, moves pretty well with your foot, which is nice. It's just a bit of an off-white. The van stripe running along the side is really a true white and so you can kind of see it might be hard on the camera to pick it up but there's just a slight color variation there here you can see some of that exposed foam you've got this on the lateral and medial sides and then also running up around the collar here's that nasa logo stitched on on the lateral side of the left shoe on the medial side you've got the nasa eva patch right there at the back of the shoe you've got text that reads for the benefit of all. It's NASA's motto of the six shoes of the skate high, so the left and right of the three different colorways, five of them feature that text, and then the black pair has something different that we'll take a look at here at the end. You've got black metal eyelets running up with these uh, thick black kind of oval laces. You've got a mix of that white leather on the tongue, and then up towards the top, you've got a gray nylon, Velcro section at the top with Vans off the wall patch in orange right there. The collar is a thick black nylon. You've got black synthetic leather pull tab right there. The inside of the tongue is an orange mesh. And then the insole might be hard to see, but you've got Vans ultra cush branding and then kind of the schematic for a different, uh, or for a NASA spacecraft and then you've got different ones for the left and right shoe just some different schematics there looking at the midsole you've got even more of an off-white here with that ribbing that mimics a spacesuit up around the toe and at the heel vans off the wall in red right there the outsole features the normal um, mte version of the skate high traction pattern you've got these sections of like different shades of brown that are kind of running all along the outsole. As far as I remember, I think every pair from the NASA collaboration, so the Space Voyager collection, had these different colors. I don't know what they mean, so if you do know the significance of that, definitely let me know down below. Real quick then, we'll look at the patch on the white pair. So again, this is the Voyager one and two patch, and that is removable, and then there's nothing on the medial side. Taking a quick look at the differences with the black pair, one small thing is that the inside of the tongue is blue instead of orange. Of course, the main difference, you've got your Apollo 11 patch right there, depicting an eagle landing on the moon, and then tied along with that, the left shoe at the heel features the text, the eagle has landed. Obviously, that ties into the patch, um, but that's actually a direct quote from Neil Armstrong letting Houston know that they had touched down on the moon. The name of their lunar landing module was Eagle, and so literally the Eagle had landed. So that's just a cool touch that sets this pair apart just a little bit from the others. And then you've got for the benefit of all, just like all the other colorways here on the right shoe. With all that said, that's gonna wrap it up for the review. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you haven't already, which is your favorite between these two and out of the entire Space Voyager collection. But with all that said, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.